Hey guys, I told you there was gonna be a continuation. I did this like literally right after like I wrote and like kind of edited my video. Like I wrote the title and stuff and then started uploading. So, like I said, I was gonna do it immediately after this one. So we're starting with my favorite part. My rare coin collection. This is what I meant by using like one of those things. Um, let's start up. Let's start off with one of the wheat pennies. I was trying to find one with fine detail on it. You can't really see much fine detail because the camera really focuses. Oh, there we go. You can finally kind of focus on it. Not really. <coughs> kind of looks fuzzy on the bottom right here, but it's not. It just says United States of America actually pretty finely. Let's start with this really old buffalo nickel. Doesn't have no date because I heard like, it's really common for some reason. There's always, like, some kind of spot right here covering the date. And you have to use, like, a bunch of special acids, so, like, to get rid of it and make it more fine. Uh, the pen right here started dying out. I was trying to write this in pen. Uh, this one worked out well, but then uh, soon after that, it's just really hard. Uh, the one I wrote right here is 1955, and there's a D because there's, like, a little symbol under there, and that's a wheat penny. For this one, I just wrote date unknown in parentheses, and I wrote a D, and then it, and then what did I say? Buffalo nickel, yeah, I wrote buffalo nickel. Here is one of my favorite, like I said, about gold dollar, 2000, and then a little D, gold dollar. So, one time I was working with my stepfather, he's not really my stepfather yet, but one time I was working with him, and I said, I want to dig my hand in the vent. I don't know why, but there's a vent, and I said, there's something cool down there, people drop cool stuff, and he's like, no there wasn't. Guess what? When I dig down there, there was about like $4 worth of like, cents, and then I found this baby, it was like stuck at the very bottom with some sticky stuff with it, and some fuzzy stuff, and when I ripped it off, ooh, it was so cool. That's why it's kind of like black and stuff. I rubbed like a ton of this stuff off though, so. I thought that was cool. Uh, let me show the. Oh, here's what my great uncle gave me for some reason when I was at his house. He's really nice. And this is a commemorative coin or something like that. Where it's like plated gold of a half dollar. I have another one, except it doesn't have this back on it. Uh, let me show you it right now. My, uh, my stepdad gave this to me, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. And then I lost it for a while, and then I found it after I was sorting out my locker right there. I, I, I go to this one school, and the mascot is a wildcat. But this has a different design, but it said wildcat before I just put a ton of crap on, like, like a bunch of stickers. So here's like a commemorative coin or whatever you can say it. And see, look at that back. It has like some state capital. Here's this one, except it has an eagle on it. Isn't that weird? Um, anyway. Uh, what else is there? There's this little coin that's hiding. This is, I think it's called a Susan B. Anthony coin. Pretty sure, I don't know. Now here's the cool thing. So, I don't know which one landed on the moon, but look, see, it looks, it says an eagle and it has it landing on the moon. Get it? The eagle landing on the moon. One of the rockets was like the eagle or whatever. I don't know. Or was that the Apollo? I think it was the Apollo. I don't know. There was this weird 2009 coin. Wait, no. Give me that, my other coin. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Got it, guys. So here's this 2009 coin, and people are talking about like how weird 2009 was because they have different backs. Like, see this one? This one doesn't have like the uh, the uh, building where Abraham Lincoln was. It has like a a cabin on it. See that cabin? And then it, like imprinted in it said, "E Pervious Union 1809." Yes, there was a shack built in 1809. Not an 1809 penny, of course, I'm just saying. Here is something that I really wanted. So I asked this cashier lady uh, at um, the gas station, do you have any special coins people gave you? And she said, I'll give you this for a dollar. And I was like, deal. I didn't have any, so I borrowed a dollar from my sister. And I was like, thank you so much. Um, she was in my, one of my last videos. 
So, uh, this is a huge coin. Like, it's by far huge. Like, if you compare it to this coin, if you compare it to a penny, oh, let's compare it to a penny. And then see this monster. It's bigger than a quarter. It's huge, and it's a dollar coin. Isn't that cool? Dollar coin. Just like the, uh, just like the, uh, Oh crap, I think her name was Sashua or something, I don't know. Oh crap. I didn't use staples on this thing, so it kind of moves around in there. <clears throat> there. It's huge, and then it has like, um, the bell, the famous bell with the crack in it, and then the, then the moon. I think it's a really cool coin. Uh, you guys think I have a cool collection so far, but now I'm gonna get in my big stuff. One of the things in there is more of a prank thing I bought from, uh, I forgot this, the one store's name, but I got this shock pin from there. I don't know why, but I put it in this lock chest because I don't want anyone taking it and then I'm like sleeping and then they're gonna shock me. It's gonna hurt. Uh, let, let's talk about this. I found this by my own. Somewhere out in the yard, like right there, if you saw past there, there's like some vans and stuff you saw. A long time ago, like about a couple months ago, they just took out all the crap from there. There was a bunch of rubble. One time I was jumping on a fence and there was like a huge amount of dirt and I was trying to make it fall down. And then the coolest thing happened when I cracked open a giant silver plate, slid down from the crack. And I was like, what the crap is this? This is in fact... I mean, it's kind of damaged, kind of bent a little. But this is, in fact, a Freemason badge. Yeah, it's, I think it's cool. And there's, like, foam right here. I think that was, like, to, like, put it on, like, a belt or something. Like, to make it soft and squishy not, like, hurt you because it's sharp metal. Not really sharp, but metal. Metal is really uncomfortable if you poke it right into you. And it says, Spez... Mia and D-O-S. I think in Latin that means... Not in God we trust, but something like that. Like, in God we hope or something. I don't know. It says 32. That was like some Shiner thing. One of the most highest individuals in the Freemasonry. High honor badge or whatever. They were like, they usually sell 10 bucks, but... I obviously put it in here. My uncle gave me this, and I thought that was really cool. It was the London Bridge. Like, you know that creepy British song or something? Like, the London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. I don't know. It was really creepy. And it said the London Bridge. An, auth <laughs> an authentic piece of the world's largest antique. The London Bridge was shipped from London, England to Lake Havasu and dedicated in 1971. It's an actual piece stuck on here. I thought that was cool. Uh, let me show this. My dad gave me this. It's really cool. Two, 22 karat gold edition $2 banknote. A long to or like the actual word for a dollar is called a banknote. How stupid does that sound? Here's the certificate of authenticity, the first commemorative mint. I love that place. Uh,. Here it is, 22 karat gold edition, United States of America, $2. Oh, now they finally say dollars. And it has like this on the back. It says, this genuine, genuine $2 banknote was issued by the U.S. government. and so actively wared with 22 karat, karat gold foil. It's America's first and only commemorative banknote design. Originally issued... To celebrate the 200th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence for 1976. It features Thomas Jefferson on the front and the signing of the Declaration of Independence by John Trumbull on the back. This is First Commander Bank, Inc. It's really cool. Wait, let me ever so carefully take it out. This might be where it ends now. It's too late, so I have to kind of hurry. Look how cool it is. Using a cool, I mean, yeah, it's playing on the back, but so cool, right? 
Um. <clears throat> so wait, wait again. Wait a second, again, guys. Gotta put it back. Gotta put it back. There, got it back. Okay, let's start with... This is actually recent. I hope the glue stick down to there. I put some glue on this like little thing because this gosh darn thing just kept on falling off. So hopefully it works now. So you like see this Velcro, like some of the like stuff fell down. Ooh, yeah, the glue actually worked, yay. Like it was still kind of attached, but not really like the stitching kind of fell off. Now this is a cool thing. This is a bullion bar. This is called, I think it's called a bullion bar. That's how you pronounce it. It's a copper bullion bar. See, isn't it cool? It's like a little bar. Like, um, they have gold, silver, and maybe possibly titanium. Uh, I know there's definitely silver and gold version. A gold ADVP ounce. Yeah, AD, AVDP ounce of gold. I think it's about like... 75 or 50 dollars for like one of the size of these or like 200 dollars or something no, i think the 200 dollar one is like kind of twice as big it comes in this cool case i didn't get like i don't know if there's like some kind of like certificate of authenticity but i know it's real it's cool and then this little design i'm about to show you something the most expensive thing in this entire thing wait let me real quick show you my shock pen no i'm not gonna shock myself but it's my shock pin. <laughs> okay, let me show you my most expensive thing in this entire collection. Possibly, probably, yeah. This, so you know how I showed you that little cool circle design on that one uh, bullion bar? Well, I have something that's super rare and only 10,000 of these were made. And it's like, it's not like thin plated gold, it's actually kind of thick plated gold, not full gold. I, no one has ever touched it before, and I never let it out of its plastic protective case. But this baby is cool. The only thing I don't really like about it says copy right here. Wait, can I show you? It's copy right there, and it has a little imprint. But it's still worth so much money. Cer Certificate of Authenticity Gold Dream. That's what the coin's name after. Replica Collection. It has a weird thing right there. Can you open the little pamphlet? It says, wait, ah, let me move the little thing. It's trying to pin back. Technical specifications. Limitation 9,999 9, complete collections. Material CU, weird in 24K gold. Wait, hey, I'm surprised it actually focused. 110 grams, issue year 2012, diameter 70 millimeters, quality proof. Observe Liberty reverses the Gold Eagle, which is right here. Uh, you can read that. That was too easy. Oh, yeah, it says it's come here, the most beautiful coin ever struck by the U.S. Mints. Actually, this coin is worth $129.95. That's why I said it's my most expensive thing. So yeah, they were. This is actually the real thing. is a lot smaller and it's silver, but it looks just like this, and it's very expensive. And it's actually, if you find the real thing back in those days when they were commonly used, it's actually a twenty dollar coin. Does that sound crazy? I guess I have to end the video, but I'm finally done with it. Let's see, see, it says luxuriously weird in twenty four K. See, isn't that cool? Luxuriously, like not thin weird, luxuriously. Sure, thick gold there. But I never took it out of its like thick plastic case or anything. No one, no human soul has ever touched it. I'm put it in this weird like vinyl case. But this is my collection so far. So please subscribe, leave a like, and comment what I should do next. You have seen my collection right now. So peace, guys. Bye. Shiny gold. Bye-bye.